Hello, fourth graders. Today is our last um, devotion. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Joshua 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the devotion I read every day on the last day of school, so please enjoy. Sad Endings. Goodbye, Mrs. Buckman. Trevor would miss her wit and kindness, but Trevor was moving on to seventh grade, in your case, fifth grade. He was moving on to Miss Pulowski's class. Goodbye, Olivia. Monty. Monty would miss her locker bunny. They shared, they shared music, silly, they shared CDs, silly little brothers, and their favorite scholastic books. But Monty was moving to Houston, and Olivia lived in Little Rock. Goodbye, Langston School. Asiara was moving to school with, was, would miss going to school with her mom, the principal. He would miss Locker 44, his basketball number. He would miss knowing everyone, well, almost everyone, but high school was only three months away. Change can be hard, even good changes. When you move from one grade to the next, you will probably look back and miss the way things used to be. Sad changes are even harder, especially being separated from friends. And we've had a lot of that separation with the virus. Whether changes are good or bad, they are almost always a little bit scary. That's where today's Bible verse comes in. Joshua was about to have a big change as a leader of his people. He was going to move from their, from their 40 years of wilderness wanderings into the promised land. He had said goodbye to Moses and had taken Moses' place. Now God was giving him the reassurance that he wasn't alone at this important and difficult time. Wherever he went, God would be with him. Wherever you go, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. The Lord your God will be with you in his word and his sacraments of holy baptism and the Lord's Supper. God's Son has redeemed you from any danger or sin that could threaten you. Goodbye to the old. Hello to the new with the Lord as your helper. And you guys will do fantastic in fifth grade. You're in wonderful hands. Miss Pulowski is a great teacher, and I have loved having you in class. So this is our last devotion and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. And I will see you all next year in the hallways or out and about this summer and know that I will continue to pray for you. Goodbye.